I'm Nia Katika Campos. I went first vegetarian um, when I was about nine or 10 years old. I was wow. eating a cheeseburger and I paused mid bite and said, Mom, the cow dies. Do cows die and we make them into cheeseburgers or um, do we kill them to make cheeseburgers? And she was like, No, baby, we kill them to make cheeseburgers. And I set it down, ran to my room, bawled my eyes out, and was like, I'm never eating that again. Why would you give that to me? And she kind of laughed. Um, and then after about a week of me not eating anything she protesting. cooked, they took it more seriously. Yeah, exactly. Protesting. They went and bought me um, Boca burgers. And I think vegetarian bologna. Those were about the only products then in stores you could get. Um, and then a few years later, I was, you know, I was vegetarian, been vegetarian for years. And then I actually went on PETA's website because I thought, you know, if they don't treat animals really well in slaughterhouses, they probably aren't treating them very well at dairy farms mm. or, you know, at, or at egg farms. And so I learned that is correct. They do not. Mm. And I went vegan. Wow. That's incredible. What about you, Jade? Um, vegetarian my whole life, basically. Oh. I was, I was about, I want to say four or five when I was eating a pork chop and my stepdad at the time told me that it was this pig that I was friends with at my family's farm. No. So, super traumatized, never ate meat again. <gasps> and, um, vegan. Oh my God. I, I don't keep track. It's been a while. I want to say maybe like 10 10 years at least. Um, and it was actually from a PETA video on eggs wow. because this is when like social media started and I was posting all animal stuff. I had an animal rescue and some vegans came on and were really mean to me actually. Mm. <laughs> and we're like, you don't love animals. If you uh, aren't vegan, like vegetarians, even worse. And I was like, uh, like everyone does. Like I, reacted very defensive and was like no I love animals like what are you talking about and it kept happening and so finally I literally went on to the Instagram and I watched the video and I was like I didn't want to go vegan like I was not ready to make the change right. and I saw it and I was like now that I know I just can't not know See, like there's no people being mean going helps. back that's why I was pointing at you <laughs> oh. not that like you're that mean person but like it, it, it helps sometimes to be called out because you know, the biggest thing to me and what I try to do now is that when, when I was being called out and they were being mean to me, I didn't understand. Right. So I just felt like they were rude. Mm. Right. And it made me but, angry. But it, it made didn't, you watch the video. It made, it was like enough times of people saying it where I took it upon myself to research, which right. I don't think a lot of people do. Because I was like, the first yeah. person I was like, okay, you are obviously have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. And then after it was like the second or third person, I was like, okay, maybe I should research. And then I did research it. If the first person had explained to me, I would have gone vegan probably several months oh. prior to that. I think a lot of people don't, they, they get that offended stage and they don't get to the next stage, which is researching. Cause I truly did love animals. So I was like, okay, now I need to look into this a little bit. Um, but I mean, not to say that I wasn't a mean vegan and that I'm not a mean vegan because sometimes <laughs> I don't have the patience or right. energy. So being, you said that, you know, now you, you have a different approach. You both are, are entrepreneurs. I want you to talk a little bit how you first connected with each other and then yeah. started Sugar Taco. Everybody knows Sugar Taco. <laughs> Well, we started being friends because I slid into her DMs about beach cleanups. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, because I didn't really have any friends that cared about the environment <laughs> or animals. It was just me. And so mm -hmm. when I saw her doing a beach cleanup, I was like, I've always wanted to do this, but I don't have anyone to do it with. Um, and then I also had... Uh, I need for someone to help manage my uh, dog rescue at the time. And so I asked her if she knew anyone and she was like, me. <laughs> and I was like, okay, perfect. Like, us. Uh, I was like, us. uh, uh me. Yeah. Yeah. It's like one of us is very like ideas, the other one is like gets it done. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's yeah. true. I had done some vegan catering stuff on my own. I because when I went vegan, there was really nothing vegan. There was like one vegan restaurant and it was pretty terrible. No offense. And <laughs> I had to learn how to cook. But prior to that, I couldn't even make a box of Kraft mac and cheese correctly. But I learned how to cook and bake pretty well. And I started catering some of the, like, Beagle Freedom Project and some other organizations when they would have their 
fundraising galas. I would do like the desserts for them and stuff like that. Cool. And so then when Jade and I started working together, she had been a partner in multiple different businesses, different um, nightclubs and restaurants. And she wanted to leave that and asked me if I wanted to do a fully vegan project with her. And we were, you know, very, very <laughs> naive and, and <laughs> optimistic. We <laughs> love that. <laughs> You learn as you go, yeah. Started everything we were doing and um, started doing that, which was pretty crazy. And, but also fun. It was a wild time. We, you know, I also that same week that we, that Jade um, registered our business, I also found out I was going to be pregnant and be a single mom. So Jade <laughs> became an auntie. We had my baby with us at all of our fundraising meetings. Aww, you were like, I could be your business partner if you will be my baby daddy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. We brought him to everything. We'd be like at taco street fests with Aww. like a newborn baby just walking around trying all the different tacos. And Aww, uh, the baby was the mascot. Was like strapped to me while we were doing construction. He was on my hip while we were taking Aww. our first orders.